So I did a quick Google search to define the word gullibility, and here's what it said. A tendency to be easily persuaded that something is real or true, and then it cites credulity. But over here, I like this definition. Gullibility is a failure of social intelligence in which a person is easily tricked or manipulated into an ill-advised course of action. It is closely related to credulity, which is the tendency to believe unlikely propositions that are unsupported by evidence. Classic, remember that. All right, so Timothy Dixon put out a video about an hour ago. You can see the timestamp on the video. Uh, this is one of his classic creepy half head shots where he's uttering a prophecy. Well, look at the title of this video that he put out. It's Prophecy Fulfilled. Now, within this video, which again is from November 6th, he prophesies a volcanic eruption in Hawaii. And then, if you fast forward this, sure enough, here is a news story uh, put out that, yes, indeed, there was a volcanic eruption in Hawaii. So here's the scenario. Timothy Dixon prophesies on November 6th a volcanic eruption. Sure enough, we all have heard of the volcanic eruption happening in Hawaii right now, first being reported on November 27th. Is this true? Do you believe that this is a genuine prophecy and a genuine prophecy fulfilled? Let's check it out. But make sure you're looking at that date right there, November 6th, 2022. This is the date that he gave the prophecy. We're looking at Hawaii News Now. Look at the title here. Hawaii Island might have a little warning before a Mauna Loa eruption, scientists say. Look at the date this was published, October 23rd, 2022. Huh. Here's the Arkansas Democratic Gazette. Again, October 28th, look at the title. Hawaii's Big Island on Alert as Volcano is Stirring. Here we are at Forbes magazine. Look at the title. Hawaii officials warn world's largest active volcano could erupt. Rut row. Look at the date. October 28th, 2022. Here is Fox News. Look at the title. Send warning signs of possible eruption. This was on November 3rd. Here we are at People. They reported it October 28th. Here we are at NBC News, Hawaii's Big Island warned to be ready as huge volcano rumbles. This one from October, I'm sorry, October 27th. Here's two more from Yahoo News, world's largest volcano showing signs. This from October 28th. Sports.Yahoo. Hawaii volcano closed, uh, closed to visitors after dozens of earthquakes. This from October 13th. Here, ABC News. Mauna Loa volcano sets off warning signals in Hawaii. When was this reported? October 28th, 2022. Here we are at CBS News. Big Island volcano showing signs of unrest. Hawaiian officials warn. This was done on October 27th, 2022. Here's CNN. Dozens of earthquakes detected as Hawaii's Mauna Loa, world's largest active volcano, remains in state of heightened unrest. This is from the 29th of October, 2022. Now, as always, I want to summarize what we learned from this video. Number one, Dixon prophesied Hawaiian volcanic eruption on November 6, 22. He then did a prophecy fulfilled video bragging that if prophecy had come to pass on the 27th. A little research and a desire not to just believe any old person that says they prophesied something shows that clearly the entire world knew that Mauna Loa was showing massive signs of an impending eruption to come. For I showed you no less than 11 major news organizations 
had indeed written extensively on this well prior to November 6, his alleged prophecy date, to include, and no less than, the Hawaii News Now, ABC News, NBC News, CBS, the Arkansas Democrat, Gazette, Forbes, Fox News, CNN, People Magazine, Yahoo News, and Yahoo Sports. Now, these are just the ones that I grabbed and I got tired. There are literally hundreds of other news organizations worldwide that also reported this, and you can go research this for yourself. All right, so Timothy Dixon, the goofy prince of the clown false prophets, again caught red-handed watching the news. That's why you'll often hear these alleged prophets. They say, well, you know, I don't, I don't watch the news. I just get everything downloaded from the Lord. It's not true, is it? It's not impressive. Even if you believe this is a true prophecy, it's not impressive. Now, for those of you that think that I'm being mean, let me tell you what mean is. Let me tell you what blasphemy is. When a clown comes out and takes the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and makes a living lying in that precious name, and shipwrecking the faith of hundreds of thousands of people worldwide. So he can set himself up as some great one. This man is the worst. He actively targets Christian believers so that he can gain monetarily, or again, to set himself up as just a great holy one of God. This man is a deceiver. He intentionally deceives. He targets Christians in order to dupe them. He is, again, the prince of the clowns. And for those of you that think you can warn me about touching God's anointed, save it. I'm touching. I am mocking Timothy Dixon. He is a fraud, an absolute fraud. And he will answer for this blasphemy, for making a mockery of our holy God. Hashem said of God, Hashem, 